Good day EDC community and welcome to my channel. Alright, so what you see in front of you here is a Chinese manufactured multi-tool which I will say is a contender in the uh, multi-tool segment for two reasons. First off, since I said it is a Chinese manufactured uh, multi-tool, it is not a clone. Um, it is not simply just a, a knockoff of an existing uh, product of, uh, an, of an established brand but if you see the tool set up here it is quite unique and it is a conscious effort from the manufacturer uh, that they want this tool to be um, not a clone but their own product okay the second is this is a big multi-tool this is uh, deployed and folded uh, at the same category as the surge and the power access assist and to an extent the swiss multi-tool okay i'm not saying that this is already a clear winner but i'm just saying that with the tool configuration here um it's it's pretty interesting all right so well first off uh let's go see what it has all right so with that all right believe it or not um it came not with a box, it was actually haphazardly packed, but at least it did come with this pack, uh, with this piece of paper and some illustration. I do not see any uh, name or product name to it. It just says, uh, if you can see here, it's a hammer multi-tool, SKU2016. I've searched this in Alibaba, uh, at the Lazada website which I use, the shopping website which I use. And I basically googled it and um, if I do put in the SKU2016, it leads me to this picture which leads me to the Lazada website which basically doesn't really tell me anything. And so with this one, let's go through the tool setup. Alright, so based on the paper that I have here, it has 21 tools. Alright, so let's go through it uh, one by one. Uh, I'm going to go through the arms first so that we could close it up and we could see the size later all right so we have a plain edge blade right that's the first let's measure first the blade how long it is or approximately it is approximately it is three inches or uh eight centimeters all right it's a plain edge blade uh a drop point Okay, let's put that in there in the recess. Okay, so it has a saw. Should have done that a while ago. That it has a saw. It's pretty sharp, all right. Uh, this is a wood saw, safe to say. Uh, there's no mention of the material, so that's a point against it. But still, moving on. It has a bit holder, all right. Okay so like so uh just a note uh this is neither a one fourth inch or a four by 60 millimeter uh hex set this is a different uh, it is it is neither of those so this is definitely this is not compatible with the one fourth or the four sixtieth the bit size is 0.39 inches or in millimeters it is a flat 10 millimeters okay uh, i'm not sure if i've seen a 10 millimeter uh hex bit outside or an aftermarket but yeah so probably not propri uh, probably proprietary uh, in that sense of the word and you won't have any other compatible bits that go with it so let's just see what bits that they have All right okay uh, this is pretty tough Right, first off, the last one that I pulled out is a preci uh, precision uh, driver, uh, a Phillips and a flathead. This is for the electronics and those eye, uh, eye glass size screws, right? Okay, so something similar to the Leatherman uh, wave and the holders. Okay, and we have uh, two sizes of Phillips and flatheads. Right, I would say this is a zero and a one. 
right and the Phillips is a small and uh, uh, also two smalls or at least one is a little slightly bigger okay but the Phillips the Phillips is a zero and a one and we have a hex and a torx okay uh, not sure what the torx size is it's probably a, a t10 or a t15 all right so yeah those are the hex bits that come with it all right good thing about it is that the hex bit holders uh, the hex bit holder is part of uh, the multi-tool it's not separately separate uh, uh, with a pouch or uh, uh, a container uh, the hex bit holder is metal all right same material as uh, the multi-tool okay now we go to the pair of scissors okay these are reminiscent of a, a Gerber or uh, yeah a Gerber scissors like a Fiskars okay and the actually on this this isn't locking up actually it there does seem to be a locking thing here but with the uh, way the scissors are uh, cut out um, there's no place for uh, the lock to be deployed so yeah no lock on this one but I will say that the, all the other tools are locking okay and also by the way uh, closed these are all outward um, deploying tools so that's a plus right so the only negative I have I can note so far are the bits because uh, they're neither uh, for 60th or millimeters or one fourth Okay, now we have a, a wrench set, which is a diameter of, okay, let's start from the bigger one. Okay, let's put it in inches. Okay, 57 millimeters or 14.6 uh, 14 millimeters. And the smallest is, okay. Okay, the smallest is a 0.42 inch or a 10.6. Okay, so there's four, five wrench settings there. Okay, with a bottle cap opener that's locking. So I'll put it inside there. Okay, All right. oops. All right, and the one that I got in the way is a. Uh, back hook or a back um, probably a gut hook um, in its close position this is this works um, can say that it is pretty sharp okay all right so I'll put this back in okay what else do we have we have a glass cutter here it's not carbide but it's part of the metal okay it has a pair of tweezers like so and remember the, f the the micro driver here there's a slot for it that goes in here it doesn't go in the bit driver there uh holder but it goes here when you want to use it okay what else okay and this is um one of the things that really got me interested uh, and i would say it is gonna make this a, uh hence why i said that this is contender it has its own pummel or hammer all right, see that over there? Take a close up. Feels pretty substantial and beefy. Okay, I just wish I knew the material, but it looks solid enough. I hope it's just not tin or aluminum. But okay, and we have a spring-loaded pliers, a needle nose, and a regular uh, regular pliers with wire cutters and hard wire cutters. Uh, in there which aren't replaceable okay there also is a wire cutter here at the back I would say for small gauges I uh, don't think there's a crimper in there yeah it's not a crimper but a wire cutter there at the notch uh, at the back all right so one thing to note of course with all multi-tools um, a can op um, a bottle cap opener usually comes with a can opener, but this one it just came with a bottle cap opener, no can op 
no can opener but that's not a big deal for me okay now that we have the tool in its folded position let's see how long it is closed all right so as you can see it is already reaching the five inch mark so it is four and three fourths inches all right or 11 and a half centimeters right this is even slightly bigger than the surge um it's uh, uh the surge comes in at 12 uh, ounces this one comes in at 10 to 11 all right it's pretty beefy um but of course the surge is still much heavier but this is still um beefy and um hefty on its own so if you're talking about the the hammer or the pommel this will have some momentum right deployed this is uh past six inches uh, closing in on seven this is a six and a six and three fourths again uh inches so yeah so and of course uh there's a belt clip here and um it also comes with a really nice nylon um pot or sheet just a moment Here's the sheet that it goes with it. I put the next tool in there. But yeah, this is a hard uh, type of a sheath, not cheap uh, feeling. It's not flimsy. It's actually hard here. So yeah, um, price wise, all right? The second reason why this is a contender, this uh, unbelievably is under $20 or under 1,500 Philippine pesos. So. This is going to give our, uh, the, the established brands uh, of the products that I said of this category a run for their money. All right. Uh, strange, really, it really just is strange that this is a no brand. So, yeah, it's hard to find this on the Internet. Um, it's hard to find it for uh, a name for it. My guess is probably is that the manufacturer is... Uh, courting the established brands to get to adapt their product into their own line but yeah uh, I would say that they're doing a good job because well for the first re reason that I said uh, their innovation uh, they didn't just copy or clone they went out of their way to make a unique uh, tool setup and yeah they made it beefy and uh, positioned it not just as a medium size but as a large multi-tool all right so with that said i hope um this video is uh interesting to you um i'll put in links to where i found this or who the seller is uh where i got this from and yeah um stay safe and peace out uh have a good one, Dad.